morning you guys welcome back to another vlog vlogmas day 21 i just put this lip balm on my lips the buxom that i showed in yesterday's vlog um it's called the powerful plump extreme lip balm in big o and it made my lips like pink this is the thing i don't know how i feel about lip products that like change the color of my lips and make them more pinky i just don't know if that even looks good on me i'm going to the gym this morning with emma i just got my workout clothes on and my workout set is from kith little leggings and bra and these <laughs> really hug you in let me tell you not moving during a workout just so you know and then i just threw on a little skims top over it and i'm ready to go I just spent the whole afternoon, I'm out of breath, whew, cleaning up the apartment after the gym. Emma and I just did a quick 12 feet 30, and I hung some decorations, hi baby, on the tree that I want to show you guys because we had no decorations <laughs> on our tree. So we did these starfish right here that Emma actually made. She put the little burlap strings on them, but we wanted to... Um, keep it a little bit Cape Coddy because that's where we grew up and we always grew up having starfish on our tree and we also got silver bulbs but they are still in the packaging and I'm like you know what Christmas is in like a few days I'm not gonna open up the packaging we'll just save them for next year but we have a few random decorations around the tree we have two little LaCroix ornaments which they actually sent we have an orange one for Emma because her favorite color is orange. And then this pink one right here for me. We have the little willow tree praying angel. This one was Emma's that she picked out. And then we have mine right here, which is Milo and I. So cute. And then I also have, oh, this one right here, which I got last year, a little wishbone and a fortune cookie right here, which is super cute. And I want to get into like a tradition where we get new ornaments every year and they kind of like mean something so obviously these are the two that we got this year and then i had this one from last year got it from crate and barrel or cb2 and then also the wishbone which i got from cb2 but the tree is so cute i love it and also this is our tree topper i just don't know how to put it on it's a little angel from willow tree so we'll have to try to put that on later today but i will link the tree down below if you are interested in getting a fake tree order it now so you'll have it for next year i got it from crate and barrel and i absolutely love it it fits so perfect in this space and the lights came on it already so you don't have to add lights or anything i just think that it looks so good right milo but anyway i've been cleaning all afternoon just like putting stuff away got some laundry done i did the towels cleaned up this area over here there's just like a few christmas things that we have that i don't want to forget about since we are leaving to go to the cape not tomorrow but i think the next day um i just also brought this huge package up from downstairs that just came in the mail i'm so excited i'm gonna open this up right now and i told you guys in a vlog i think it was a couple of days ago that i ordered some blacked out curtains and they finally came i am so excited it was actually super fast the shipping i think it took like two days for them to get here i ordered them on sunday and they're so heavy that's like why ugh, i'm out of breath from bringing these up the stairs but i can't wait to sleep with these in my room tonight because i've been noticing lately just how bad i sleep because there's so much light from the city coming into my room so these are the curtains i got they're from pottery barn they are the linen blackout curtains the emery and i got them in the white linen i am so excited to set these up right now you guys have no idea these are the curtains i have in my room right now they're just the linen just normal linen ones from pottery barn it's crazy you can see how much the light comes through and i have like this huge window situation in my room so i'm gonna swap these out I'll show you guys how they look. I just showered and put on my skims and I'm doing my red LED mask. I 
am waiting for my brother to get out of work and come over because you guys have no idea what happened. The curtains fell because they were so heavy in the rod that I had them hung on. Like it was from the people who lived at my apartment last. Like it's not even my rod. It just was there. So I was like, okay, I've been using it. I put the curtains on and there was only one screw on each side. So this fell. And my brother has to come over and he has to like drill it into the wall again. That's that. Also, I need to order a steamer because I like don't even want to touch these because they're going to fall. But they're like very wrinkly, but it's fine because they work. And my room's going to be so dark tonight and I'm so excited. Hi, Milo. You look so cute. Yay. <laughs> my brother just left and he hung the curtains. And I'm supposed to add like little... Featuring my wine. I'm supposed to add little things at the top to make them look kind of like these ones do at the end instead of having them more spaced out. Like there are these specific little things I have to put in the curtains to make them like look good. But I'm not going to worry about that right now because I am painting my room next week. So I have to take down this rod anyway. And I'm also just going to get a new curtain rod. I really like the way that the black ones look. I have black all over my apartment and I just love the black with the white curtain. So I'm going to order one tonight and this one's like falling off. It's <laughs> so bad. I just had my brother put them up tonight because I want to be able to sleep in the dark and yeah, but I'm going to get a steamer and I'm going to get a new curtain rod, but they look really good. I love them. They're going to look good once they're like all set up the right way and when my walls are white my room's gonna look so good i'm so excited getting ready you guys i was just listening to thank you next by the whole album ariana grande's album that came out in what 2019 no. Oh my god, it came out in 2019, like the beginning of 2019. I was going through some shit when that came out, let me tell you. And I just feel like that album like shaped me to who into who I am today. I'm not even kidding. I was never really like an Ariana Grande stan before that album came out. And I don't know, there's just something about Mac Miller passing away and then like that whole album. I like really was a Mac fan when I was younger. I loved his music and like grew up listening to that so when he passed away i was like really really sad about it i literally remember like where i was when i found out i like couldn't believe it and then her album came out and it just like oh my god i was changed my life so whenever i hear the songs it just brings me back and like makes me feel <laughs> some type of way because i feel like i was just going through so much at that time and i know she was too and i swear we were like everyone was just going through it together so it was almost like comforting <laughs> okay but we are doing a get ready with me i asked you guys on instagram if you're not following me on instagram you definitely should it's at maggie mcdonald i have it linked in the description always so you can follow along and i do i've been really active on my stories been trying to be i was like so active today and part of me is like i don't want to be annoying to people like the people that know me in real life but also like i love being active on instagram like talking to you guys in dms and like sharing little things over the stories that i talk about in my videos so we all just like get it you know like yesterday i was posting about the yellow walls in my room and so many of you guys were like oh my god maggie like paint the walls already and it's just like a little joke that we have so I just think it's so fun posting on there and just like being active on my stories and I asked you guys what you wanted to see like get ready with me or if you wanted me to do an Instagram live get ready which the YouTube was winning at the time that I looked at it so here we are which I'm actually glad about because obviously it's vlogmas and I just think it's fun even though I feel like we're always in my bathroom during vlogmas I just I don't know, I like to have like these memories and be able to do this type of stuff because this is like literally what I'm doing in real life. So anyway, getting ready to go out to dinner. I'm going out to dinner with Emma and where's my concealer? Oh, here it is, literally in front of my face. I'm going out to dinner with Emma and Joey, our friend that has been in the vlogs. He's been in like a few Vlogmas vlogs. I drove his Defender the other day. He was there when we bought his Christmas tree. I think like Vlogmas day two or something. Or beginning, beginning of Vlogmas. And then 
he came out to dinner the other night so joey's been in quite a few vids but i'm excited to go out to dinner because everyone is like starting to have work off and stuff so the city is just like feeling fun and festive <laughs> before christmas and I was like, you know what? Let's just go out tonight because we didn't really have anything to cook anyway. We were supposed to go back to the store and get some food to make for dinner tonight. And we didn't. So we were like, let's just go out. Joey's leaving to go back home for the holidays. And we saw him at the gym today. And we were like, why don't we all just grab dinner? So that's what we're doing. I think we're going to Lola 42, which is like our favorite sushi place to go to in Boston. It's in Seaport. Okay, Foundation Nation. We have Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. What I've been doing is I've been using, so I'll do two pumps of five in my hand, and then I will also do a pump of 5.5 in the middle. Kind of mix those two together. As you can see, they're like two completely different shades, but they make the gorgeous shade. They make the most gorgeous shade. I wore this on my face the other night and so many of you guys were like freaking out in the comments being like oh my god your makeup your makeup and the only thing that I did differently was I mixed my foundation and I also did this weird little thing that I'm doing right now where I literally am just like putting dots of it all over my skin which I've also never done before but I swear I like saw somebody do it on TikTok and I was like I'm gonna do that because it looked like it went on so even like look at that and then use your beauty blender and just blend this out i also put a little bit of concealer on my red spots but i like didn't even need to do that because this foundation is so good i feel like if you just add more it has very buildable coverage and i was always like super scared of foundation in the past because it just always felt so heavy on my face and made me feel like I just immediately needed to take my makeup off but I literally don't feel that way with the Giorgio Armani and my esthetician also posted on her Instagram story once a list of a few foundations that were like not going to irritate your skin if you have like acne prone skin or sensitive skin and the Giorgio Armani was on the list top on the list and I was like wait that makes me so happy because this is the one that I use and I've never ever ever had problems and I'm just obsessed with it. It's really worth the money and I highly, highly recommend it. It makes your skin like look so, so flawless and it's very lightweight as well. I just really like it. Also, I got some questions on Instagram about why I don't or maybe it was on my YouTube video but I've seen comments asking why I don't use like clean beauty products anymore and why I've kind of like switched which I feel like in 2019 I was really getting into clean beauty because I feel like that was like the trend but also at the same time I feel like just because a company is saying that their products are like clean doesn't always mean it is I've learned that also so it's just like Honestly, you gotta just use what you want. I was seeing so many amazing products being talked about and I was like, I wanna use these, but I was like so strict on myself. I was like, oh, well, it's not like clean, so I can't use it. And I like stopped using some of my favorite products that worked so well because of that. Um, There's really no reason. Also, sometimes I just feel like the natural like beauty products like don't even work that well. I have found and I don't know you just kind of have to do what works for you the concealer that i just put on is the tarte creaseless concealer i'm obsessed with this one i get it in the shade 13n it's a fair light neutral shade and it's really 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 nice i love the way that it looks it's super buildable and it gives really really great coverage and it's really easy to blend as well I definitely like this better for me personally. I like it a lot better than the NARS concealer. I've tried to use that one before in the past and I just felt like it was really heavy and cakey on my face. And this one is really, really, really good. I like it a lot, a lot better. Okay, now time for some blush. I am obsessed with the Nude Sticks blush. I love In the Nude Sunkissed and then Cherry. So I'm going to use a little bit of Sunkiss right now. I also like to mix my blush as well. 
I don't like to just use one shade. I like to use a few different shades and kind of like make my own. Okay, and then after, I do like to go in with a second blush. I'm gonna be using the Makeup by Mario Soft Coral Blush Stick. I just got this yesterday and I love like the pinky coral color. Wait, I think I just put a chunk on my nose, you guys, I don't know. Gotta try to blend, blend that out. Um, but it's a little bit more pinky coral. Obviously, the shade is soft coral. But I'm gonna just put this over the top. Yeah, there was literally a chunk. I usually just blend this out with my fingers, but for some reason, I've been loving the brush. Now, ooh, I'm so scared because I know a lot of people use and love this milk bronzer, the matte bronzer. I'm kind of scared to use it. Oh, what the fuck? Guys, what? Do you see that? It literally just broke. Is this a sign that I shouldn't use it? I'm like scared. I'm scared it's gonna cause a breakout. I don't know why. I just get like so weird when I try new products. I'm like, is that gonna make me break out? Anyway, um, I'm gonna go in with some, oh, the setting powder. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade one. This is my favorite setting powder ever. I've already hit the bottom of the pan because I use it so much, it's so good. It makes your under eyes like so flawless. Literally makes your skin look airbrushed and I am obsessed. Like, looks so insane, it looks so good. Okay, time for some blush. We have the Lila B Sunkiss, B Sunkiss Bronzer Duo. Love this bronzer. I actually use two different bronzers. Well, this one has two shades, but I will show you guys actually what I do next because I use a completely different product. So I'm, I really like to mix shades if you haven't noticed. I think that obviously not one, like one shade that exists isn't going to be like your perfect match. There's so many different skin tones that I feel like it's really nice to find a few that you like and then mix to like make the perfect shade that works for you. So I love this bronzer. That's why I like to do like a couple different blushes, two different foundations. Also bronzer just gives like, just like transforms your look. I also want to take a picture tonight and post on Instagram. I have not been posting this month which has been like really bad. I feel like it's the months when I get like super pale and I'm just like, it's so cold and gray out. I don't even want to post on Instagram. Whenever it's me like on a trip or me in the summer, I like post literally all the time. So I just need to be better at it. I feel like I kind of like hibernate during the winter months. I need to get out of hibernation. I need to post my outfits on Instagram more because I look back and I'm like, why did I not do that? Also, who like who really cares? You know? Like, I just am thinking way too much in it. Like, no, no one is actually looking at me being like, you look dull because it's winter and it's gray outside. Like, what are you doing? Like, no one cares. Okay, adding a little bit of bronzer to, oh wait, actually, I'm gonna add some of my new Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. But before I do that, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more bronzer. This is the Lawless Summer Skin Velvet Matte Bronzer in Blazed. It's a dark shade bronzer. When I first got this, I was like, wait, I think it's like a little bit too dark for my skin. Like it was really, really bronze, but the more I use it, I just learned like a little goes a long way. So I kind of just like dip my brush in it and it gives me the most like bronzed, sun-kissed glow. I love this bronzer so much. I love Lawless products. I also um, really like the lip liner. I have a lip liner and a lip gloss. 
that I've been using a ton lately actually and it is the forget the filler liner in pink sands and then the forget the filler gloss pumping gloss plumping gloss in velvet these two are really pretty together so i like those a lot as well okay we're doing some bobby brown pink sparkle eyeshadow literally so creamy and so good i got these yesterday and then i was on instagram today and i also saw savon ayla who i follow she posted herself doing her makeup and she uses them as well i was like wait i just bought those yesterday they're so good so just to add a little bit of that to my lid to add a little something something i need to get a new one of these this is the benefit 24 hour brow setter i have been wanting to try the anastasia brow gel the one that you use like a spoolie but i haven't gotten it yet just because i've been using this one and this one's so easy because you don't have to worry about bringing like the spoolie brush with you this is like all it's like a two-in-one or like an all-in-one so i just kind of like to brush my eyebrows up in the front and then slick them down <laughs> i'm also getting my eyebrows in tomorrow i'm getting a spray tan tomorrow i'm literally so excited you guys have no idea i'm like getting a spray tan for christmas and christmas eve because i have obviously like parties to why did i just say it like that because <laughs> i have parties to go to um and i just feel so confident when i have a spray tan not gonna lie so i'm excited about that and i'm gonna get my eyebrows done in the morning so tomorrow it's gonna be like a we're just gonna have a little a little day tomorrow some benefit highlighter if you saw vlogmas from yesterday you'll know that i literally didn't even mean to buy this product but here we are and we love it so i'm putting a little bit underneath my eyebrow tip of my nose and then just some on my cheeks it's so cute this is just like a really cute adds like such um cuteness to your face little sparkle shimmer you know but it's not like too much sometimes i feel like powder highlighters are too freaking much i'm like Ew. okay now we have eyeliner i love me an eyeliner moment just like a little wing in the corner um i'm gonna do it off camera because I'm, i literally have to get like this close to the mirror to do it so i'm gonna do this and then i'll be right back but i did want to show you guys i just go like this and then make a line um i you know what i'll be right back i just did my eyeliner my mascara and my lip liner off camera because i'm always like super close to the mirror but i just want to share with you guys i'll show you what products i use for all of them well actually mascara i use say mascara the black one just the say 101 and then for eyeliner i use this stila liquid liner in brown and lips i use charlotte tilbury lip liner you guys already know i talk about it all the time but i got this new sharpener because i was talking about how my old benefit one like got all over all my makeup and all my makeup had like pink from the lip liner everywhere and then you guys were commenting being like girl you need to get a sharpener that has a lid and i was like what like that's a thing and i go to sephora yesterday and i got a sharpener with a lid i got the anastasia i was like you know what she will not do me wrong like i already know her products are good whatever look at how sharp that lip liner is and i only have to twist it literally one time i have so many of these lip liners like i go through them so quick because the benefit a sharpener that i was using like didn't work and i swear it was just making me like waste so much product like i have never had a lip liner this sharp my life has changed so like all the little nub ones that i have i'm gonna be able to use now 
because I'll like actually be able to sharpen them well. I'm gonna do a little gloss. This is the best lip gloss I've ever used in my whole entire existence. Like everybody needs this. If you're a gloss person like me, the Pat McGrath Labs Lust Lip Gloss in the shade Love Potion. I'm telling you guys, it's so creamy. It's so good, it smells good. It's soft, it doesn't dry your lips out. Like I've used so many lip products, you guys have no idea. Like I have two bags full of lip products, like huge gallon bags underneath my sink from my old apartment that I literally have not even gone into because all of the products I've tried and they dry my lips out. Best lip gloss, hands down, with the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. If you ever see me with a lip, ever online this is what i'm using and if i change it i will tell you otherwise these are the best my favorite and that is all sometimes you know what i do like to do at the end of my makeup routine i do like to grab a tiny bit more blush like a little bit two dots a little bit more than two, but I like to add, I'm being like aggressive with my makeup. I like to add a little bit more blush. Oh, because it just, blush makes me happy. It really does. I'm obsessed with it. Cute. Makeup is done. This thing is literally so tight on my head. I swear it's like giving me a headache. I think I'm going to keep my hair. And I'm gonna keep my hair down tonight because I washed it a couple days ago, actually. No, I washed it yesterday. I don't need to slick my hair up and put hairspray in it because, oh, ow. <laughs> Did you hear that? The lip gloss literally fell on my foot. Um, I don't need to slick it back or do anything with it because I feel like that just gets it feeling yucky. And I just washed my hair, like I said yesterday. So I'm gonna leave it, take it or leave it, and I'm gonna leave it. You know how people say the side part like isn't in? I love like a messy, like, that's my favorite type of hair. I guess it really isn't like a, it's just kind of like I keep keeping your hair messy. And then obviously like it goes back to the middle if I want it to, but like I love that. Love, I don't know why. So I think we should let it be. I'll play around with it. That is the makeup. Everything will be linked. And let's go pick a outfit. I need to go out there and find a new jacket because I don't want to wear this black trench. I just don't like the way that it looks. Um, but I honestly don't even know if I have enough time to go look. Anyway, I'm wearing a brown little vest top from Aritzia and then I have on Princess Polly trousers these shoes right here that I just got from Revolve trench coat is Lamarck I haven't been able to find it anywhere online but I'll link a similar one and then I'm using my little black by far bag and then I just put my hair in like this little half up half down situation with my Jennifer Fisher hoops <laughs> <laughs> Hey. What? Wow. Oh my god, that looks so good. Guys, whenever you get sushi anywhere, this one right here is yellow tan ligiri with truffle oil and sea salt. It's like our hidden secret. You have to get it.